What is going on guys? Apathy here, back with a brand new video. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the number one setting, the number one setting. Setting number one that pro players love and absolutely love and use a lot in Modern Warfare. I can confidently say at least 99, maybe 98% of pro players use the setting because it's just so good and it's only exclusive to Modern Warfare. And no, I am not talking about ATS, AKA Auto Tax Brand, because some people might think I'm referring to that. Nope. I don't know if you're noticing, but I'm having, hitting every single shot. And you know, I act on new, huh? There's one setting to really think uh, when it comes to this, because I do have a good sense. I do have a good shot as a pro player, but there's one setting that's helping me a little bit more than like what I'm used to in other CODs. And it's the aim assist curve type. Now aim assist, I do like to rock standard. Uh, I feel like messing with other ones, like you get hard auto aim pull. So for example, you got the, let's see over here. You got this you got the precision and focusing now people have said focusing is pretty good which it can be pretty effective uh i think precision is horrible but if you're using focusing maybe use it in warzone but overall i don't think those are really good i would rather you just get used to the regular aim assist but what i'm going to be talking about is the aim response curve type and now i use dynamic now there has been rumors about dynamic being you know maybe broken you know maybe things are like uh, glitchy and buggy and exclusive ace which is a big youtuber and he does st statistics and you know he basically explains stuff very in depth he talks about how like a lot of the things that pro players were claiming were false and it was just due to like the way they were doing the aim assist and all these things so a lot of the things about dynamic is basically false about you know saying it doesn't get aim assist sometimes and all these buggy things so I really prefer dynamic. I think dynamic is phenomenal. I think you get extra aim assist pull, which some people don't even know why, and it's hard to explain, but you get extra aim assist. And especially when you play at the highest level and you're running around and you're snapping on people and, you know, slide canceling, you, it's just for some reason during all this movement, and I know kind of what dynamic does, but i just don't understand why it gives you extra aim assist and it really does because guys i've tried both okay i've used standard i've ran around the standard for a day i've used dynamic and trust me it's it's not a difference where it's like oh you know what every now and then that kill wasn't dynamic kill no it's a noticeable difference that when i'm playing the game when i'm shooting at people as you can see i'm able to precisely snap on people and aim and it's kind of lock on them like the aim assist obviously helps if i had no aim assist or like weak aim assist then it would be harder to hit every single shot like like the way i do so trust me guys dynamic is the way so this is the number one setting uh pro players love like i said about 99 percent of pro players use it maybe 98 uh there was a thing a while ago where there were more players using standard pro players using standard aim assist or aim response curve type and by a couple i mean maybe there was only like 90 percent using dynamic maybe 95 but recently the past month or two i can tell you almost every player has switched to dynamic there's only maybe a couple left that are on standard so about 99 percent 98 percent are on dynamic right now because they understand how good it is and how broken it is and you know it's just every single like really top player good player uses it man and that's why i'm sharing it with you guys i know a lot of you guys maybe are comfortable with standard a uh, response curve type maybe some of you guys don't believe in dynamic and i'm here telling you right now that this thing is amazing and if you want to have a godlike shot uh, i would recommend to use it you know and don't forget to drop a like on the video guys I do appreciate it man and let's get into some really good gameplay now shall we okay let's get right into the cdo playlist play like the pros yes please give me a new map All right, let's go to my options. Dynamic aim response curve type. Check. We do got some St. Petro hardpoint. Cryptic Capture Dusty has left the game. That's tough. Okay, bye. Cool. Gonna challenge top right away because I don't give a damn. Pepsi bottle, Coca-Cola gloss. I don't give a damn. Now, obviously, in past CODs, there's only been one aim assist, really, and I'm able to do stuff like that, which it's part of dynamic. And dynamic has been so helpful, man. I've been using it actually to start a game, and I won't forget, during the beta, People were like, what aim response curve type you're rocking? And I forgot, why are my teammates team killing? I'm actually trying to lose full. Someone recommended me dynamic and I said, you know what? I like it. Let's use it. 
And I've been using it ever, ever since, bro. Ever since the beta. Like, that's a long, that's a long time, man. That's, a, that's quite, that's, that's quite the time, man. And I do want to apologize, guys. Man, I, I've been trying to grind the YouTube. Obviously, not miss days. Try to do a video every other day. But it's been very difficult for me. I don't know if you guys know, but I've mentioned it in a video before, but I am a, a new dad. I am a new parent and I have a three month old little girl, my three, three month old daughter. And she takes more of that free time I used to have and time I would do like YouTube videos and things like that. So it's been a little bit difficult for me to find that time uh, to continuously post videos, but I hate not, I hate being inconsistent. So um, I'm going to try to do a better job um, to post more videos and be more active. Another another reason why i've been a little bit inactive too is for the fact that we have call of duty champs coming up which is the biggest tournament of the year i don't know if you guys know but it is the biggest prize pool we've ever had in the call of duty tournament it is insane it is huge and i want to do really well at this tournament especially after having kind of like a shitty competitive year uh especially for the seattle surge so it it would make up the whole year if i do really good at this tournament the 2020 Whoa, cod champs one. So right now, that's kind of been my goal. I've just been, you know, grinding a lot of COD, competitive side of COD, uh, making sure I'm more rested, you know, just kind of focusing my energy more into that world and that aspect of things. So that is part of the reason why I've been slacking a little bit on YouTube too. So it's, it's a mix of both of those. So these guys lost a couple players. Um... No one's joining back, and it's starting to piss me off, man. So finally, the other team has acquired some players, which is nice because I was starting to lose full that this game was going to be done really quickly. No, come back. No, that's that's his actual name, guys. No. Oh my God, these guys are everywhere, bro. No. Oh, no, died. Okay, it's good. This is good, man. Why? 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 So 10MM is allowed, again, in the competitive side of things. Uh, pro players decided to... Uh, to play with it after seeing how dominant the M4 is because it's absurd and you know running this 10mm class feels good because I feel like I'm not shooting pebbles a 9mm wasn't really a problem close up 9mm basically had the same thing but 10mm now just feels great man I feel like long range like that middle to long range distance I feel like my shots connect so well oh I ran out of ammo good, good teamwork good teamwork there and it just feels good to be able to kill at a decent speed you know Look at this guy. Look at this schmuck. Look at this schmuck. Not missing a bullet. Not missing a bullet. Cracked. Damn, son. I'm kind of curious because I know a lot of you guys have your own opinions about things like the response curve type. But what are you guys' opinions on the response curve type? Do you guys like it? Do you think it's broken? Um, what is what, like? Do you, which one do you use? Do you use dynamic? Do you use linear? Uh, are you a focusing type of guy? Uh, I really recommend, I always recommend for people to use what the pro players use because there's a reason why we use these type of settings. Uh, obviously, we find out what's the best setting, what we feel like is the, the most elite and optimal setting, and then we use it and get really good with it. So if you're like someone who uses like a weird like focusing setting or a linear setting, I understand that, you know, it can help you get kills and stuff sometimes, but you need to understand that there are better settings out there, man. And it's kind of crazy how these new cars are just getting so many things added to them, bro. I'm so one shot. See his foot? He dead. <laughs> oh! Oh! That was almost so bad. I think it's I got EOD as soon as I killed that guy. Should have died. Beams, beams, dynamic potatoes. Oh, spawn, no problem. 13 bullets, apathy. Don't worry. 10 mm MP5. No problem. No, no problemo. Apathy the Slayer back here. Apathy the Slayer. No. Specialist achieved. No. Now, crouch. Now, <laughs> dude, I've killed the whole team like ten times, bro. When are they gonna learn their lesson, bro? I'll die. I'll die to make them feel better, okay? These guys are actually hitting the super old time. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Has died. 
Oh, beams, beams. I'm too good. I'm too good. Oh, there's another one. Here. Oh, I stopped shooting. Oh, shit. That's what happens when you get too cocky, bro. You got to lower down the ego a bit. And that's right there is what you call some dynamic dominance, man. Just use it, guys. Don't be stubborn. Be like a pro player. But in layout, oh, it's tough. I hate when people leave, though, because like when people leave on a team and they, they get no help. Hey. Yeah, chill out, apathy. My bad. You're welcome. Don't forget, guys, to like the video. Comment down below again. What do you think about the aim response curve types and the settings? 33 and 10 is not too bad. Subscribe to the channel. We're getting closer and closer to 200K. I never thought in a million years I'll be at 200K. I thought maybe one day, maybe, but it's actually looking achievable. So I do love that. Damage it says, love you, app. Love you too, man. I love all of you guys. Hope you all have a wonderful day. I'm going to try to be better, more consistent. I got you guys. New video probably coming out probably tomorrow. You know what? Tomorrow or Friday for sure. Okay. Okay. Bye.